for generations, the Ely River served as a boundary from the mostly Mexican east side to from the rest of the city. And the east side for a long time had more gangs, the oldest gangs, had more crime, had uh, more poverty. Um, and so you could see that the city was divided. I think what's happened though, especially with a large number of um, migrants from Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and other countries, including from Asia, that began to change because now like, there's Mexicans everywhere. <laughs> In other words, there used to be a time you couldn't go to the Huntington Beach. They actually would chase you, the police. I'm not even talking about neighbors. I'm talking about the police would chase you away. Now there's nothing but Mexicans there. You used to be, not be able to go to Beverly Hills. They would stop you. Now there's all kinds of people everywhere. The valley was divided between Northeast Valley, the Mexican side, and everybody else. Now there's Mexicans and Latinos everywhere. So I think what's happened is that our numbers have just grown. We broke through the barriers already. So I don't think the LA River serves as the same kind of dividing line, except that you still have the very poor East Side communities, which are more gang related than others. I think the development of the LA River, especially if the communities involved with their uh, creativeness, inventiveness, could be a beautiful thing. If they could keep the art designated, designate walls, let community come in regularly, paint it. If you can maybe put some more greenery, uh, you know, real sustainable plants. If you can consider the, the uh, fishing again, we used to be able to fish in, in, these, in these waters. I think the LA River could be a beautiful neighborhood, local place, but also a place that people from around the world want to come and see.